Okay, so this lesson is to help us to understand clipping masks um, as they apply to shapes and cutting out of a background, either image or a pattern or another color or another shape. So we're trying to make sure that with our projects, when we're doing our foldable wish box, um, that we have the outline of what we want. So our shape that we want to kind of cookie cutter uh, cut out of a pattern. Um, I have to have it on its own layer. So that's where I have the clipping uh, mask shape here. So that has to be above what we are going to be cutting out of. So, so think about this as a cookie cutter. We're using this shape to kind of cut out something that is below it. So think about like the Pathfinder tool, how it does that. But really we're going to force, you know, the pattern in this example to only conform to this shape. So what needs to be done is that your, your shape that you are using as your cookie cutter or the shape that's going to be masking out, it has to be above, okay? So above anything else underneath that you want to um, have it conform to. So I'm going to ha I have the background pattern. I just clicked on it and I went to pattern. I could pick anything. It does not matter. So I'm going to change it here. So all I need to do, obviously they're in different layers, but I have to click. And even if they were in the same layer group, it will still work out. You just kind of have to click on one shape and then shift click the other and then go to object and then make mask. So clipping mask, make mask. So control seven is a keyboard shortcut. And then you'll see that it will conform. Now, um, if you have multiple shapes, then you might have to do another step beforehand. Like, so if I'm using a cookie cutter and it has more than one shape that is not connected like mine is right here. So if they were separated, I would have to go and shift select all those different shapes that I wanted to use as my cutter, my clipping, and then I'd have to go to object and compound path first to make it kind of unified as one singular shape, even though there might be separate shapes not connected. So I would have to make a compound path, which means like it's a more complicated path. Okay. So I would have to make that first and then go into shift clicking um, that unified shape with then the background and then go into object clipping mask. Make. Okay. So it would do the same thing. So that's how you do a clipping mask with a pattern or something more complicated in the background. And that is the lesson for today. Thank you.